Okay. Let's have a look here. Use the method of shell to find the volume of an ellipse rotating around the x-axis. Okay, well, let's uh, graph this out. So, around the x-axis. Okay, so that's the radius. That's the height. So the volume is 2 pi. And then uh, the radius which is uh, y running from 0 uh, to b and then the h from the y so what is the the h given the y uh, so i'll have to rearrange this uh, it's going to be root one minus uh, y squared over b squared uh, times uh, times a isn't it i think one minus y squared over b squared root both sides cross multiply by the a so if i just do a flipperoo here i take minus a out minus a pi on the outside here and then that's minus 2y root 1 minus well maybe i'll put this all over b squared and have b squared minus y squared so then that can come out then as uh, just, so that's root b squared minus y squared, and the b can come out. So we can then uh, use a substitution, but you can kind of see what's happening here. Oh, sorry, dy, dy. Um, that's minus a over b i then that's the derivative of b squared minus y squared power 3 over 2 um, times 2 thirds. Bring down the power, reduce the power by 1 and multiply by the inside derivative. Yeah, 0 to b. So that would be minus a over b pi 2 thirds. Oh, I might have to double it actually because that's only for for a half of it. Um, because it's only going to be for this half. Uh, two thirds. B squared minus y squared power three over two zero to b. So putting uh putting the b cancels it. So it's only really the zero that we care about. So that's a over b pi two over three, b squared power three over two. Uh, the twos cancel and I'll have to multiply that by two. So that's four over three, a over b, pi, b cubed. And interestingly note that when a equals b equals r, then this becomes the volume of a sphere, four over three, pi r cubed. So, I believe, wait, I don't know why I didn't cancel the b's, I guess because I was fixated on making the cube at the end, that's actually probably what it was, so I could make this point here, but I think it's better to actually cancel the b's and get this form, the form of 3 pi a b squared, because uh, in, in the three-dimensional version, when you have it extended as a, b, and c, the formula, I know it's 4 over 3 pi a, b, c. Uh, so the uh, b squared is because when you rotate this around the axis, the extension along this axis would have to be b as well. So this makes more sense.